Welcome back to SnowRunner. In the last episode, we began the game and did a few things in Michigan, but the tutorial has taken us to the global map and it wants us to travel to Alaska. Now, actually looking at this now makes me realize just how many different maps there are. Because even in Michigan, the Black River we were on in the last episode, that's one of four Michigan maps by the looks of things. So there's still a lot still to do there. I don't think we're going to stay in Alaska very long. But because the tutorial wants us to leave, that's what we've got to do. So we are heading to Northport, Alaska, which itself also has four maps by the looks of things. And that's without including all the DLC ones. I think it's going to be a very long playthrough by the end of this. Quite a, quite a long series. Um, which isn't a bad thing. I do enjoy a good series we can really get our teeth into. So, travelling to Alaska. Global map. We're now on the Northport, Alaska map as well. And there's the garage. And we can now come to Alaska. And that is where we are. Doesn't look like it because we're just in a garage, to be fair. We have brought a GMC truck with us, as that's only that and the Scout, I think it is, we've got, and that's it. So we've learned how to move trucks from one map to another. This isn't the ideal truck, I'm guessing, for the snow and ice, because it's a road truck. Doesn't like mud. And there we have it, the tutorial is done. Simple as that. We are now left to decide what we want to do and when we want to do it. We are free to do what we want including, as it says there, coming back to Alaska in the future, rather than doing it now and we could head back to Michigan. But we're here, so we might as well try and do something whilst we're here, and then we can make a decision whether we're staying or not. So what have we got job-wise? Okay. Uh, there's one down here. Let's have a look what this job requires. So, uh, there it is. So they need service part, spare parts, service spare parts, two of them delivered to north of where we are now. And we can pick those up by the looks of it from the service hub, which is slightly south from where we are. Again, we haven't really, we don't know where anything is. We don't know what the road condition is going to be like. If it's all main road, nice and easy. Maybe the odd skid here and there. But it does look quite simple. Um, so yeah, I definitely think... Some, and this will also actually, it says there's, op, there's something else underneath the rewards, money, experience, and then the pipeline is operational. I'm guessing certain things need to be operational before other things then can then be done, would be my guess. Um, the tutorial kind of gave us the bare bones, but doesn't explain everything. But I think we're going to get this mission done. It makes sense. But hopefully we can figure out how to survive in the snow. And here is the trailer store as well. That's something new we haven't seen there. As it's a new garage, I wouldn't know it was there. Right, I think we should head to where we need to pick up the service spare parts up from. Hopefully it's just a road and we get straight there in one piece. But let's see how we get on on this drive, shall we? It wasn't too bad a drive, was it? I think we did okay. There was a few skids, um, but other than that, I think it went okay. This truck is definitely not suited, though. Uh, I'm guessing it's not. I would guess by the amount of grip we have at times. We need something with maybe chains on. Uh, so this is new. This is new objective. So task discovered. We haven't seen task before. 
I'm guessing we should ex we should accept all of these as we go and as we come across them because there's something maybe we can do as and when. So these seem to be different to the normal contracts in terms of we can pick these up whenever and do them whenever. This one requires us to take two cargo containers to the port. I'm guessing we've got to find that. Do we? Where are they? It says it requires a trailer with a crane to be fair, so we won't be doing that now anyway. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll make sure we've got it on. I think we have to go and find two containers somewhere by the sounds of it. But anyway, back to what we're going to try and get done first. And this is the service spare parts. We need two lots of these. I'm assuming they're the same size as the wooden planks we picked up in the last episode in this truck. And if so, we should be able to fit both in the back. There's one. Again, I don't see the point in manually loading this if we can do it automatically. There we go. Two lots in the back. I think that's it. So now we just need to head back towards the garage, which is the way we came around this main road here. And then we go past the garage and slightly west. Seems to be the way to go. It seems fairly simple. I was expecting... I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting to struggle. And currently we're not. And this is only the first contract we picked up. <laughs> it could get a lot worse yet. Right, let's head back and see if we can take the service spare parts to the pipeline construction. As we're nearly there we did get stuck in a bit of snow there you may have saw that um, yeah that's our first real tricky situation to be honest but here we are let's deliver the service spare parts times two and that is the pipeline done and the contract is complete so the pipeline is now operational uh, so I'm assuming that will lead on to more contracts as we go as well now we have got an issue so this is us a little while later uh, and we got stuck in the, some snow and some mud. Uh, we were here for quite a while as I tried to batter my way through and thought, no, we can get out of this. I'm sure I can get out of this. We can winch. There's loads of things we can do. Um, yeah, I think we're stuck. Now, we've only got two options. One, keep trying to get out of it, which is proving quite futile. Or two, we cover the truck back to the garage and run back to Michigan as quickly as possible. Now, I don't know how to make this decision, maybe flip a coin, but actually I'm going to make the decision myself because I kind of know where we're at 
and how I'm feeling so far. And we are heading back to Michigan. Yes, that's right. I've made the decision. Um, <laughs> I don't think we've got much choice. We need to spend a bit more time with our vehicles, learning what conditions they can handle. Maybe get some more upgrades would be good. Snow tires would be a bonus. Um, earn some more money. Gain a few levels. So yes, that's right. Next time you'll be joining us, we'll be back in Michigan and hopefully we'll be able to achieve a few more contracts and eventually we'll head back to Alaska, but just not anytime soon. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.